The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 252. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She runs The Boss of Me, which she will explain later on. And, you know, I'm just really excited to have her on and share her tips and stories on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Perlin Xiao. Perlin, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Hi, Sheena. Hi, everyone. I'm very pleased to be on this show. I run Boss of Me, which Sheena has mentioned. It's a boutique book writing agency, and I specialize in helping people, mostly entrepreneurs, share their words of wisdom and publish their books. That's what I do. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what's your cultural background? I'm from Singapore, but I would say I am a citizen of the world because I travel a lot and I do like to immerse myself in different cultures in every few months. Cool. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Perlin, what what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I like the fact that I mean, this is something that I've, I've come across when I did my yoga. And it's a quote that is actually the foundation. The entire science of yoga is based on this quote, which is control your mind and you can control anything. In fact, I like it so much that I had it tattooed in Sanskrit on the side of my body. I love it. And it's so true, right? You got to learn to control your mind, especially what you think about. Yeah, we all have our monkey brain, so we really have to control and make sure that whatever it says is a positive reinforcement instead of negative. Totally. And, you know, especially in a world where people are so distracted, it's so important to feed our brain, feed our minds with good stuff. So I really love that quote that you mentioned. That's why we have a podcast like this. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. Totally. Yeah. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? I think self-confidence comes from trusting your gut. And believing in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, no one will. And that comes across when you meet people. I love that definition, especially trusting your gut, especially as, you know, mm-hmm. being an Asian woman, that's probably the most challenging thing to do because we've been so trained to trust other people that we forget to trust ourselves. So, you yeah. know, I, I really love that definition that you mentioned. And, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self confidence? I mean, unfortunately, I think this trusting your gut thing comes from years of experience. I mean, it is not something that, that you, are, you can handle when you're in your 20s, I think, because everything is still very topsy-turvy at that time and, and, and you're trying to deal with your, all your emotions. So I actually acquired this much later on in my life before. Okay, um, for me, I've always wanted to try many different things and, and writing has always been an easy thing for me. So I kind of took it for granted. So even when I was in school, I would write essays and my essays would get passed around in class and then I'll get commended on it. But I'll be like, hmm, okay, whatever. And they dream about doing other things. So I think I, it could be something that the universe has been trying to tell me throughout my whole life, but I denied and I didn't want to see it because right after school, I got offered a job as a journalist and I took it. And I just, again, you know, even though it was for the national paper, I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just do it my job. And then I'll just try and get off work early and then go have fun and explore other things. So I kept doing, trying out. I went to public relations. I went into uh, dot coms. I even joined a, a business. I did different business development. And then finally, I think when I, I mean, throughout the whole time when I was doing all these things, I even did top pilates. I always wrote on the side. Finally, you know, it, it dawned upon me that, that I should do something like that because I mean, it all started. I'm going to talk about my aha moment now. <laughs> Is it yeah. relevant? Yeah, for yeah. sure. So, so, you know, um, at the back of my head, I've always wanted to write a book. But I always thought that who's going to read my book by, written by nobody, right? Mm-hmm. So I was, just had a head, that thought in my head for a while. And then it was only when I read uh, Timothy Ferris, The 4-Hour Work Week. And he said something in the book that, said that, that resonated so much in me. It was like, if, you're, if you're, you're not an expert in something, go interview experts and write your book based on their uh, thoughts and opinions. So I was like, Oh yeah, you know, how what did I think of that? I am a journalist, I have a background interviewing people. I can do that. I can so do that. So I, I just jumped off my sofa and I wrote my book proposal in like ten minutes and 
sent it out to like I googled for publishers and sent it out to like four publishers before you know common sense came into me and I lost my my courage so I just did that and then within a week I had my first book deal so I think a lot of it is the universe has been trying to help me and finally it dawned upon me that I should do something like that so everything has been really smooth sailing after that so I think it, be, it comes from trusting your gut and, and learning to be self-confident. I think back then, I did not think of it that way. But looking back, I think it was the start of this uh, self-confidence. I love your story. And it's funny how, like, you know, you tried everything else and you tried to... Yeah. to <laughs> wasn't kind of, successful. <laughs> you tried to kind of force things to happen when in reality, like, writing was the thing that came to you naturally. Yeah. And, when you, and, and when you finally <laughs> realized that, like, look, where it, look what happened. You had a best-selling book, right? And now you have a publishing company, like it just made sense for you. And it just came out so naturally. And I think that's something that we have to realize, you know, we try to put make things hard for us when really it doesn't have to be that hard, right? It can that's be so true. It can, mm. it can be easy. I'm not saying easy, like it's such it's like, you know, you wake up and it's like money comes falling down. Yeah, from you the still sky. have to put in the hard work, you know, you still have to make sure that you, you slog and, and pursue your passion. Exactly. But it's that that flow is so much easier. You're not, a, you're not a stress, you're doing, you're living your purpose, you're doing what you love. And, yeah. you know, the more we realize that the more we can go out there and, you know, live our lives. And I love that paragraph you, you said by Timothy Ferris, which was, you know, you don't have to be an expert, just in- interview experts, right? Yeah. Yes, it made so much sense, but I did not think of it. <laughs> yeah, because like yeah. we do deal with things like, you know, what if nobody listens to my podcast? What if nobody reads my book? Mm-hmm. And everyone's so scared about like the things that could go wrong. We forget to, you know, think about what could go right. You know, yes, having a correct. best-selling book, having a successful podcast. So, you know, this I love, you know, this aha moment that you had. And because of that, what's your li- life been like now? I would say everything has been really smooth sailing. Once I listened to my gut uh, and I became more self-aware and more confident in pursuing, you know, whatever I think it's in my line of vision, which is writing. So I think the universe really was helping me all along. I just did not see it. But once I acknowledged and saw it and just let it guide me, it, it's been really, I mean, I'm living my ideal life right now, doing work that I love, but yet also, you know, um, finding time to travel. And I mean, I have a team of very capable writers, so that's helped a lot as well. Awesome. Well, that's, that's amazing. And, you know, Perlin, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in a similar journey to self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I would say, um, trust your instincts, your gut instincts i mean it's something that is in you we all have a gift and if we really become more aware and and open our eyes to it you know you'd be amazed at what comes your way and you have to act fast because if you sit on it for a long time the idea will run to someone else i always feel that way you know it's given to you but if you don't do anything on it you'll go to someone else who deserves it so you know trust your instincts act fast and the universe likes speed and so it will really help to manifest what you act upon those are great tips and I love it. And, you know, if our listeners want to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? You can find me at uh, on my website, which is uh, www.bossofme.sg or you can also add me on Facebook, which is Perlin Xiao, Instagram, Perlin. You can find me on all these different channels. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that and to our listeners. If you want to connect with Perlin, you can also head on over to the com and search for Perlin's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I really want to thank Perlin for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It was an honor to have you on. We truly enjoyed your story. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.